Hello everyone! In this video, we want to solve this equation together in a more creative way. This is a quadratic equation, which you can solve in a traditional way, but the number that we have here is too large and makes the calculation more complicated. But we can see here, this number has a specific structure and it contains 8 ones and 8 twos. So, in this solution, we want to write this number in a simpler way to solve this equation much simpler. Okay, let's simplify this number. For making more understandable, we can write example for a smaller number. For example, 12. It contains uh, only 1, 1 and 1, 2. Or we can write it down as 10 plus 2. The next number contains two one and two twos. And we can write it down as 1100 plus 22. And again, we go to the next example. We add one one and one two to it. As we can see, it contains three ones and three two. We can write it down as three one, three zeros plus 222. And uh, again, we can continue until we reach the exact number that we have in this equation, which contains 8 1 and 8 twos. So we can write it down at exactly the same as smaller numbers, like 8 1, 8 zeros, plus 8 twos. And now instead of these zeros, uh, we can write down 10 to the power 8 and make it much simpler. So this is a huge number and we want to make the equation simpler. Uh, let's define new variable. Uh, we will define 8 ones equals to t. So we will use t instead of 8 ones that we had. So uh, this is going to be t times 10 to the power 8 plus 2t because this is exactly 2 times uh, this number that we had for t here. Now we want to make this part based on t. Uh, so we want to change 10 to the power 8 in the form of t. Uh, so 10 to the power 8 is equals to 8 nines plus 1. If it is not clear, let's go and see smaller numbers. For example, 10 to the power 1 is equals to 1 9 uh, plus 1, which is equal to 10. 10 to the power 2 is equal to 2 nines plus 1 and 10 to the power 3 is equals to 3 9 plus 1 and now we can find uh, the structure for 10 to the power 8 here. Now we want to make this equation based on t so it's going to be 9 times 8 1 plus 1. So we can see this is exactly t. So this is t and this is going to be equal to 9 times t plus 1. So let's substitute this 9t plus 1 instead of 10 to the power 8. And now we can write our equation like this. Now we want to solve this new equation and we want to find a based on t. So let's see what will happen. So we multiply t to these numbers and now we have uh, 9t squared plus 3 times t. Now we can see we have 3t in both parts. So we can extract 3t out of it and it's going to be 3t times 3t plus 1. This is a famous formula that we use in mathematics and we are going to use it in the next step. If you don't know it, pause the video and understand it and then go to the next one. So here we move the right hand side in the equation to the left side. So it's going to be negative 3t times 3t plus 1 and we have a squared plus a here too. So it's going to be equal to 0. Now we want to solve this. Here, we are going to use this formula and uh, make this equation into two multiplication. 
for making this multiplication equals to zero, uh, we have two ways. One is this parenthesis equals to zero. The other one is this one equals to zero. So we have two roots here. The first one is this parenthesis equals to zero. It's going to be a1 equals to 3t, which is going to be eight threes because we define t equal to eight ones. And the other one is the second parenthesis equals to zero, which is going to be a2, which is equals to minus 3t minus one, which is going to be this number. So we solve this equation in a more creative and fun way. And uh, thank you for watching us. Please like the video.